Hello friends, it's been a minute. We have a lot of exciting things going on and today's vlog um, is something, it's like a family hack, get ready with us to go on vacation vlog. So welcome to the vlog. Um, I am running around doing last minute things, trying to check off those last minute to do checklist points that I've made. We're trying to leave for vacation tomorrow and our family is kind of all split up right now. My husband's at work, my babies are napping, I'm trying to finish laundry, Cooper's at school, and so I'm trying to prioritize what all needs to get done for all these individual people <laughs> to make our vacation seamless. And I wanna share some tricks with you guys um, about like packing hacks, um, things that make just life easier in general before you're trying to get out the door. Um, and just like a couple of things that I put in our suitcases that make life so much easier when you're traveling. So first and foremost, um, Cooper needs a haircut. And one of my favorite new skills I have found that Alexa, I can't say her name right now or she'll start talking to me, um, can perform is she can actually help you find and book a haircut so quickly. So I'm gonna sit on the floor, start going through my ever ending <laughs> pile of swimming suits that I'm wanting to take on vacation and I'm gonna actually book his haircut, which is amazing. You don't have to call around different salons and see what they have open or availability or put on pause or deal with the secretary. You just do everything right through her, which is like my favorite, one of my new favorite tasks that I've learned that she can do. So you guys should try it and see what she says. I'm so speaking of the devil. My husband just got home from work. Okay. Oh, I'm the devil. <laughs> speaking of my angel. Okay. So, um, we have one of these almost in every one of our rooms. We have one in our kitchen, which keeps my kids entertained a lot during dinner time. And then Cooper has one down in his room. He uses it for his alarm to play music. Um, we have one in our room for like, I love to check like the weather outside and just like finding new tasks that she can do is also a challenge. I love doing that. So this is my favorite new one. Alexa, I need a haircut. From Open Salon. Hi, how can I help? You can say I need a haircut or buy products. I need a haircut. Say the city or zip code to search nearby salons. Supercuts at 5642 South 900 East Suite B3. Salt Lake City has availability at 3.30 p.m. Say yes to book or no for more options. With the open salon feature on Alexa, you can now book yourself a hair appointment, which will be really convenient so I can get Cooper in, get him scheduled before we have to leave. He'll feel good about his new haircut and it just takes one more thing off of my to-do list. That's super cool. So she pulled up the closest available salon with the first time slot open and then if that doesn't work for you, you can say next salon and she'll find you the next salon. So if you guys are super busy mom like I am, you're looking for an Alexa hack, I encourage you to try doing this today and booking your next haircut through Alexa. You're welcome. Where are we going tomorrow? To Hawaii. Tell the camera so they can see your cute face. Where are we going tomorrow? To Hawaii. Are you excited? Sure. Yeah, hopefully your cold goes away, huh? Sure. No more colds. Next packing tip, I um, always clean and organize my diaper bag. That way I know what's in there, where it's at, and it just feels fresh, especially we're gonna be gone for 10 days, so it's gonna be a lot of packing around, and I don't wanna pack in a lot of unnecessary stuff. And sometimes, if you haven't cleaned out your diaper bag in a while, you guys know as well as I do, there can be really random stuff found in there. So um, I think it'd be funny to down in the comments, leave like the most random thing that you have ever found in your diaper bag.
Okay, really not so bad for, um, I haven't cleaned this out in a bit, but a lot of just like things that would be floating around that will be excess weight that when you're packing through the airport, you don't wanna carry. So I'm gonna just trade out, instead of having like two random packs of wipes, I'm just gonna do one big pack of wipes for the kids instead of two. And then like I'm gonna condense down all these things into some things I'll show you. I got at Walmart in the travel section that just really limit weight and help. That was in mommy's diaper bag. That's a fake lettuce. It's mommy's bag. Fake it's lettuce. lettuce. <laughs> um, but now really quickly, I'm just gonna wipe out the inside of the bag. This is the Myers. I love this spray. It's called Orange Clove. Just smells fresh. And these MZ Wallace backpacks are so nice. Like I have used this for two years now. Because of the material, it just, it can hold a lot, but it doesn't get really bulky this way, so you're not bumping into a lot of people. But they're worth the money. Like, they're like a couple hundred bucks, but they hold their, like, look at the bottom. There's no sign of any wearing, and I've had this since I've had Elliot. The straps are so soft and padded, so it's not, just like, cutting into your neck when you wear them. But I really, really love these bags and recommend them for travel. Like, they're one of the best brands ever. So Jackson and I kind of are going to divide and conquer because um, he's going to sit by Elliot and I'm going to sit by Lenny or we'll switch it up. So I'm making specific snack packs for like Elliot, Paw Patrol, Tic Tacs, Goldfish, same thing. Um, and I like to do individuals and then I put them in one big pack, one big Ziploc. Then that way they're still organized. You can reuse these Ziplocs a hundred times and then they're all going to be contained in one snack bag. And then um, Lenny, I'll do some like yogurt melts and some like sweet potato puffs in another individual Ziploc for her for her snacks. I also will do like all the medicine that we'll need in individual Ziplocs. Um, this is Elliot's eye medicine, some wipes for his glasses like cleansing wipes for his glasses, Motrin and a Doppler or a, what are these called, syringe I guess? Um, just because you never know when you're traveling. And then you guys, I'm obsessed with like the tiny things. These are the things you always need when you're traveling. Wrinkle release, right? Um, spray Lysol, a lint roller. I really love like a uh, like Febreze, like maybe they pee out or something and you don't have an outfit change or you just, you know, you want your fabric to smell good. A Tide pen, which so helpful. So I'll put all those in there. These Clorox wipes will go in my diaper bag. Also, one more tip: um, think about relevancy when you're um, in your diaper bag. Like when you're reaching into your diaper bag because of the thing you need the most. What is it? For me and for us, it's baby wipes. So I will pack all of the diapers on the very, very bottom of the bag, and then everything else kind of like around it. And then these always will go on top because I feel like this is what I'm always grabbing for the most like on the plane for a runny nose or they spit up or they you need to wipe their hands off like i am always grabbing for my wipes and sometimes i'll even take like a chunk of wipes and even put those in a ziploc bag and have them just floating around just to have extra so you're not trying to like pull them out of this but i think if when you're packing your bag think about what you're going to need the fastest and the easiest i i don't always obviously let my kids have all these like sugary snacks, but traveling is a special time and it like will feel like a treat to them and they'll behave. Um, I also will pack some of these small dum-dum suckers so when they're on the plane and they're taking off, if they don't, like Lenny doesn't take a bink, I'll give her some like one of those to play with or just in an emergency, like if they cannot stop, if they will not stop crying, um, I always bribe. <laughs> I'm like, I'll give you a sucker if you sit down and you're really, really quiet. And these dum-dums are just so little. So I'll put those in the front of my bag. Um, no. No. And yeah, that's no. always been a helpful no. <laughs> look at Lenny. She sees them. She knows. What do you want more of? Show mommy more. Show me. Say more. No. Show. Good job. Oh, <laughs> you know where they're at. Huh? That's mommy's. Dinker. She wants it. I got this cute bag from Amazon and like a bunch of play makeup came in it. So what I did is I put some of her littler toys that she likes playing with inside of it so that they're organized and inside of her bag. Look how cute these little dolls are. Um, I just got them in the checkout line at Walmart. How cute, huh? So she likes playing with those and like this little noise maker on the plane. And so then that way she has her little toy like entertainment bag on the there plane. There it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, also you just reminded me. So 
we pack a bottle on one side and then we also pack a water cup for each of them on the other side. Um, and then that way after we go through TSA, we'll fill them up with water so that they have water and milk. And do you guys know this TSA, you can take formula and breast milk through and even regular milk. They just have to do an extra test on it. So don't waste your milk and pour it out because a lot of people think you can't take it through TSA. You can, they just will want to test it. Behind door number one, you got a brand new stroller. Brand new car for Lenny. <laughs> so Jackson and I have made, we put her in it. Jackson and I have made an executive. Okay, so Jackson and I made the executive decision since um, we're gonna be defense. We're running um, man on man defense, not a zone. We love our double stroller and it makes sense in a lot of places for traveling. We feel like it's really big, it's heavy, and I don't know. So we just decided that we would get two umbrella strollers. We cashed in our Amazon points. Yeah, we cashed in our Amazon points and got these two strollers, which they're really nice for only being, I think they were $70. Um, and we just figured when you go through TSA and security and gate check and all that, and then you go to get on the plane, Sometimes the double stroller is a lot because you have to fold up the entire stroller, take off both of the seats, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just a struggle. So with the umbrella strollers, it will just be one swipe and you're done, and you don't have to take the seat out, right. reattach it. Sure. The double stroller has how many parts? Like four, two, the two <coughs> seats, the two posts you have to put in, and yeah. then the full part so there's one two three four five main parts of the double shoulder where this one is just one pull it folds up it's really light and it's really nice because it can lay down all the way this one can lay down all the way so if they're napping at the pool it has a great umbrella a cup holder for 70 bucks this stroller is great come here the kids are fighting over it we just haven't used them yet. We just set them up. So we've got it. This is good practice. Okay. Our kids will not stop screaming. But this one is nice too because it comes with that strap. So we're just going to walk it to the gate and check it at the gate. Yeah, look how nice that but strap is. Just right here. The, on the back. This side. And it folds out. It has an under compartment, and which is really nice. This and isn't sponsored, by the way. We just found these, and we really like these strollers. It's lightweight. All right. So then how do you? Will you lay it back all the way? So if Elliot wants to take a nap, Jax will show you how. You just push this button here. Those little recline buttons. Lay back, Elliot, like you you're taking a nap. nap. And there's like that shade thing for him, which is really nice because most umbrella strollers don't oh, yeah, lay back like that. Yeah. Has okay. the back brakes and the handles are tall enough. So, anyways, we ended up <laughs> we ended up getting two of these strollers for him and I, and we're. Just gonna be like that family in the airport with two shoulders, but I'd rather go with two lighter weight shoulders than one big, bulky, heavy, especially when it's traveling. It's traveling, you just wanna have light, hands free. And with the five float, floating pieces, it's sometimes really hard. What? You wanna take a turn? Okay, go get in your stroller. Go get in it. Let, let Lenny have a turn. We have two, I should just bring them in. We also are taking our. Jackson got this pack because we're gonna go on some hikes. <laughs> Lenny. Hawaii is gonna be so fun with our kids. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. 